In this video, we're going to learn about some important keyboard shortcuts. When creating on Google Slides, you're going to use your keyboard and your mouse. One important thing to learn first is how to make a capital letter. In order to make a capital letter, you click the shift key, hold it down, and then click the letter that you want to make capital. Typing the letters normally, they will be lowercase. Sometimes you're going to want to create a specific symbol that you see on your keyboard. When creating symbols, you have to look at the key and notice how it has two symbols on it. So the numbers have something on top of them, and so do some of the other keys. So I want to make an exclamation point instead of a period. So I'm going to backspace, click my shift key, hold it down, and then click the one because it has an exclamation point on top of it. This is going to help you create all different symbols while you're typing on Google Slides. Also, don't forget to click the space bar in between your words and in between your sentences after punctuation. Another shortcut that can be really helpful when you're working is how to copy and paste using your keyboard. So we're gonna select, and we know from our last video that things are selected when they are outlined in blue. So this text box was selected and it's outlined in blue. Now the star is selected, now it's outlined in blue. They're two separate objects. In order to copy and paste this star, I'm gonna click and hold the control button. That word's not written out completely. It's abbreviated as CTRL and it's in the bottom left corner. So I'm gonna click it and hold it and I'm gonna click C. That means that it has been copied and I can paste it wherever I'd like on my screen. And I'm gonna click control again and then the letter V and it made another star for me. You can also do this by using your mouse if you don't have a keyboard. You can do what's called right click. Usually we click with our left side. We're gonna click on the right side of our mouse and we have all of these options. Right now, we're just gonna pay attention to the copy and the paste option. So I can copy. You can also see that the code is next to it that we just used before, Control C. Copy, and then I want a star over here. So I'm gonna right click and then paste my star. Oh, it went over here rather than where I wanted it, but that's okay. I can just move it to the correct place and arrange my stars however I would like. You might also notice that there's a red line that's coming up. That's there to help you, to show you that these are perfectly in line. The computer really helps you with spacing like that to make sure that your artwork looks as nice as it can. Have fun with your keyboard shortcuts.